All right, guys, I'm back. I'm going to go ahead and go through lesson 7A, finding meaning. So it says, choose two phrases to form a sentence that correctly uses a word from word list 7. Write each sentence in the space provided. So we're doing two things. We are first going to pick the letters of the two phrases that make up a definition. And then two, we're going to type the definition onto the line. So first, you're going to need a shape. And I pick a circle. So we have a plucky attempt is one. B, that takes a lot of courage. C, an impetuous attempt is one. D, that is bound to fail. Okay. So we, our vocabulary words are plucky. Okay. So we have plucky is a one and we have impetuous is one. Okay. So let's go up here. Pluck, to pull off, out, to prick, to remove the feathers from, to pull at and let go. Courage or bravery, brave or courageous. And then we also had impetuous, which is inclined to act without thinking hasty. So down here, if I look here, I see that I courage went with plucky. So I circled these two. And then I grab my text box. And I come here and I type a plucky attempt is one that takes a lot of courage. Okay. All right. To be prostate is to be devoid of hope. To be gratified is to be lying with the face downward. So my two vocabulary words are prostrate and gratified. And I know that prostrate means to be laying flat down. And I know gratified means to be hopeful for something, to be thankful. So I have kind of both of these. So let's go see if we can't find the difference. So prostrate, lying flat, lying face down, especially to show respect, co completely covered, overcome, weak and helpless. Or we have gratified to please or satisfy, to give in to what one is wanted, pleasing. So the one that goes best with what I have been given would be ding, 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 prostrate and lying down with face downward is what it says. So I grab my text box and I type to be prostrate is to be lying with the face downward. Okay. And then I can reposition that so I can see it better. There we go. All right. And then number three, the last one I'm going to do with you guys. Okay. To act impetuously, do something without thinking, do something knowing it to be wrong, to act in a haughty manner is to. All right. So I'm going to grab my highlighter and I'm going to highlight my two words, impetuously and haughty. Now you don't have to highlight your words. I just do it because it helps me see them. So let's go look at impetuous, inclined to act without thinking, hasty, or we have haughty, adding too much pride, showing too much pride in oneself or scorn or attempt for others. So if I come down here, to act impetuously is to do something without thinking or do something knowing it's wrong or to act hotly manner is to do something like that. So impetuously, it would actually be, these are very close, so this and then this, okay? To act impetuously is to do something without thinking, okay? So I grab my text box and I write that sentence. To act impetuously. Impetuously is to do something without thinking. And I did not spell this word right. That's why I'm going to go put a mess where I didn't need one. There we go. All right. So that's how you do it this week. Um, let me know if you have any questions or you get stuck on one. I do not mind helping.